Hello and welcome back to another Space Engineers Showcase video. In today's video, we're looking at something very small and very handy. And that is the OPC Rhine Mining Drone, which is this lovely thing right here. So this is a very tiny remote controlled drone that you can just send away from your large ship over to asteroids and start mining up a little bit of resource that you need. So for example, you could take this drone and go and mine deep inside a asteroid where maybe your large mining ship won't be able to fit or maybe you don't want to risk damaging your big ship trying to get the resources when you can use a small disposable drone. Pressing F10 and finding it in the spawn menu, there it is. This thing is only 204 small blocks requiring the Sparks of the Future DLC pack and the Wasteland DLC pack. You can see there we use no mods and no scripts for this. So we'll give this a little thumbs up and we'll have a quick look around the outside before giving it a little go. I will mention right now that I have put a mod on here to make the cameras more clear. So if I was to come over to here and press number 8, you'll notice that there's no fuzziness on the screen from the camera. I did that just for viewing purposes. Anyway, coming around to here, this is the very front of what we get with our little drone. We got two drill heads, which is how we're going to be carrying most of our resources, and of course to drill through the asteroids. Right in the middle here is the camera of how we're going to fly this thing around and collect the resources with a little ore detector next to it and a small DLC spotlight on the side. If I pull away from there and move around the side here, we're going to see our fancy ion thruster skin, which does look fantastic. And some nice block work just covering up the internals, which is going to be our cargo containers. Moving all the way around to the very back here, there's going to be even more thrusters and we can see a medium cargo container sticking out right there which is where we're going to store our precious goods. Coming down and underneath, this is what we get. There's not too much to talk about here. We just got some nice block work going along the middle there with our battered armored skin. We have an ejector right there to get rid of anything we don't need, such as stone. And moving around and coming to the top, all the way up to here, this is what we get here. So we've got our connector to dock ourselves onto our main ship and to unload all our goods. We've got an antenna there to make sure we can always find it. We've got a camera right there to make sure we can connect up our connector without using the third person camera. And over here we can see we've got two gyroscopes and how it's all been connected up to the drill. Then moving towards the back there, we can see the top of our medium cargo container and all the thrusters at the back. And there we go. It's a very short and sweet little drone and it's got quite a lot of utility to go along with it. Considering how simple it is and how easy it would be to build once you're in space, it'll be quite handy to have a small array of these that you can just send out and collect up any resources you need. And what I'll do before we give this thing a little test out is come over to here and come over to this part and you'll see we've got three medium cargo containers on here so we can carry a nice lot of uranium if that's what you're after. And of course we've got the storage in the drills themselves and our connector over here. Bringing up the HUD, this is what we get with this little drone. Number one is going to be to control our drills with our left mouse to collect and right mouse to make a big hole. Two is going to be for our battery to turn it on and off and I should not have touched that because now I've disconnected myself. Three is going to be for our ion thrusters to turn them all off or turn them all on. Four is for our connector on the top on and off and then five is to lock or unlock it. Number six is for our spotlight which sits right at the very front here to turn it on and off. Seven is going to be for our ejector on and off. Number eight is for the camera straight forward and number nine is for the camera straight up and you can see at the bottom left there just the little edge of our connector on top. On tab number two we then got controls for our antenna on and off and oh god I turned that off I should not have done that off and number two will be for our battery to auto or recharge and once again I have disconnected myself from the ship. Right now we've got control over the ship I've stopped turning off the connections and the batteries and all that we'll now go and start to drill away through this asteroid. So over here we've got this nice little hole, if I put number 6 on for our spotlight, which doesn't really seem to help too much at a distance, but we can just come all the way down this spooky little asteroid and we can start finding some precious resources inside here where it might be a little bit too tight to get a big mining ship inside, or perhaps you're in a hostile area with plenty of drones and you want to use something disposable. Yes, yeah, so we can just come up to this side over here and start drilling away, so I'm just going to start a little hole. Actually, we'll go find some resource. There should be some resource all the way over to here. There we go. 
Hopefully I'll be within range, but there should be a little ore patch right around this corner. So if I come all the way around to here, I saw this earlier, it's a nice little patch, should be, should be around here. It's going to be quite difficult to find. I think that was it right there. It's a little bit dark. In fact, I'll try and bring the sunlight around to here. Should be a bit easier to see. There it is. That should be some nice silicon. And we can go and collect that up, store that up. And then once we're done, we can go back to our big ship and we can just go and collect that up. I think I just dam did I damage something on this or was that just a... No, that was nothing. Okay, good. That's fine. So we just keep storing everything up. Just keep drilling away here. So we just keep going away here. I don't know. This isn't silicon, is it? It's something else. If I press I, it's platinum. And it does look like we've got a bit of stone. So I can press number seven. And the sorter should then start ejecting out all the little stone. There's a little plop right there. And we just keep filling this up. And I'll fill this all the way up to the tippy top. And then we'll see how it handles. Okay, so reversing all the way out of here. And we'll check our inventory, making sure I'm not going to go too far from myself. Of course, if I was in a proper ship or a proper base, the distance between me and the drone wouldn't be too much of a problem. Just more that I'm just standing somewhere over there. And yeah, not too much of a distance can be made. But pressing I and looking at our inventory, this is what I've collected. So we've got a nice amount of platinum ore. Quite a lot, actually, for such a small little drone. If I disconnect myself and fly over to the drone, I'll just show you how big it actually is compared to my character. There we go. It is a tiny little thing and it can collect up quite a lot of stuff. Very easy to use, very simple to build. And it's a very useful thing to have around. But that is it for the Ryanair Mining Drone. It's a nice little thing to play around with if you say don't want to build a mining ship yourself and just want something small and simple that you can send out into tight areas and collect up some precious resources. And of course, if you don't want it to be a remote control ship, you can always just slap on a cockpit and use it as a small little mining ship. And it's very easy to customize with the way it's been set up. If you want more containers on the back there, you can easily just remove the thrusters and add some more on. And if you want more drills at the front, you can easily just attach them on and conveyor it all up. Yes, as for how it handles when it's all full up, it's not too bad. It doesn't need to be too responsive. It just needs to be able to get from one place to another while carrying all the goods. Just floating around here, we are a bit drifty, but it's still pretty decent for a small drone that's been filled to the brim with resources. So yes, there'll be a link to this in the description below if you do wish to play around with it yourself. And I'll be back with another video some point soon. Bye bye.